Slow-moving salamanders make easy prey for garter snakes. However, one such creature, the rough-skinned newt, protects itself by secreting a neurotoxin that paralyzes nerves and muscles by blocking sodium channels. This is sufficient to deter most predators. However, some populations of garter snake have evolved sodium channels that are resistant to the newt's toxin. These snakes have the advantage of being able to eat the newts and survive, but the toxin slows the snakes down for several hours. And in fact, they never move as fast as non-resistant snakes. Thus, they sacrifice crawling speed for this advantage. In an environment without rough-skinned newts, the toxin-resistant snakes would not have an advantage. However, in an environment where rough-skinned newts are present, the resistant snakes would have a clear advantage over their non-resistant peers. While their reduced speed would make them vulnerable to predators, this would be outweighed by the advantage of being able to eat poisonous newts. Because individuals in a population differ in many ways, scientists cannot easily assess the cost of a specific adaptation in nature. One way to investigate this question is by creating cloned or highly inbred populations and then artificially manipulating the population to study the effects of changing a single gene. Plasmid vectors can be used to transfer a specific allele to individual members of the inbred population. Using this technique, investigators measured the cost associated with resistance to an herbicide in the flowering plant Arabidopsis thaliana. As a control, some plants received a plasmid that did not contain the herbicide resistance allele. Still other plants received no plasmid at all. Scientists then counted the number of seeds produced by each plant. The plants that did not receive a plasmid produced about the same number of seeds as those that received a control plasmid. But the plants that received the resistance allele produced significantly fewer seeds. Although the resistant plants will survive better in the presence of herbicide, the cost of maintaining resistance is fewer offspring. Therefore, non-resistant plants will outcompete resistant plants if no herbicide is present. Let's look at another example. In some mammal species, one male controls reproductive access to many females. Such species tend to be sexually dimorphic, that is, the males look dramatically different than the females. Generally, they are larger and bear weapons, such as horns, antlers, and large teeth. There are metabolic costs associated with developing and maintaining these features. For instance, it turns out that males of these species generally are more susceptible to parasites than females are. However, the fact that these features are common in many species suggests that the benefits derived from possessing them must outweigh the costs.